I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. I love gold so much. What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today I've got a special one for you. So, Hammer Shark. Everyone knows it, right? It used to be one of the worst units in the game, but they immediately buffed it to make it the most OP broken gold generator in the game, and then they changed it to be a more balanced unit, which is what it is now. So, Hammer Shark is pretty crazy if you have the level 3s for it. And in this game, I'm going to show you the power of multiple level 3 Hammer Sharks. And what better way to get to this hammer shark than a level 3 swan? So level 3 swan, or just swan in general, you know, gaining more gold, really, really helps you out in uh, the early game as well as the late game. Is just finding more units, finding chocolates, uh, finding, I don't know, alpacas. Alpacas are uh, pretty insane. So we get an insane start here. I'm talking, you see this, we have the level 2 swan the level 3 moth, and then a level 2 penguin will be easily uh, acquired on turn 6. Turn 6, I have the ability to get a level 3, or a level 2 penguin. That's absolutely ridiculous, along with um, all my other level 2s. This was probably one of the luckiest games I have ever played, uh, especially since this is on customs. So we get absolutely crazy luck here. Um, definitely need level threes. Hamster is a great pickup. Uh, when we're trying to go for something like this, because I was specifically going for Hammer Shark, I haven't done a lot with it, and I wanted to. I really wanted to. And what better way, you know, only getting one level three, you know, only getting two level threes, meh. How about we get three? That would be insane. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know, um... If, if that's feasibly doable anymore, you don't get as much gold from them. However, it's still a lot, you know, getting nine um, if you have at least one level three. And I believe that they count for each other. I think they do. Uh, I didn't test it here. You know, I kept my level three swan. I believe I kept my level three moth even because, I mean, with literally how many penguins we're finding, uh, you got to keep the level three moth. I mean, look at this. We are having a level three penguin on turn eight that is absolutely ridiculous that's the first turn you can start finding penguins and even past a level three with this extra penguin i don't even know if i should pick it up i mean that it'll just be so many penguins at this point and we only have um two level twos that it can buff of course our level one will buff our level two so we're still getting uh stats there but it absolutely crazy this luck i swear i mean look how uh, big our team is all we're doing is like looking for stuff too more swans um got to have a level three swan if you want to be able to f find some uh some more stuff getting um triples here on turn nine i'm really looking for alpaca alpaca is absolutely insane when it comes to stuff like this you get so many free chocolates, it's unreal. I mean, Crow is nice and all, but you have to spend six gold to get it. And, you know, if I get a level two alpaca, I just get level twos for free. Seems uh, like a way better deal to me. But I think we should even pick up the Crow. Maybe we can find something else, or at least we'll be on track to getting our level three swan. So with this, it was absolutely crazy. I... You know, before I always thought Hammer Shark was really, really weak. I hardly included it into any of my custom packs, but I think adding it might have its benefits. Um, you don't really think about it too much because if you do have a gold generator, you know, you either want like hamster or swan, something that you can get a bit earlier so it gets more value. When you have Hammer Shark, the game needs to go on for a much more extended period of time for it to feel like it's actually worth it so that's like that's my whole sh spiel you know my shtick with uh my my hatred for hammer shark it just you get it so late but i feel like if you got it any earlier it would just be absolutely busted so it's kind of like a it has its lose lose you can't have it too early or it's way too op and if you have it this late you know that's probably what it's going to have to be. 
Uh, I wish, you know, it was... Oh, wait, no, I think Hammer Shark is in Pack 3, but I feel like it's even worse in Pack 3. It's really good in Customs because you can design a build around it, but when it comes to Pack 3, you know, there's no design for it. Um, you kind of just have to hope that you get something and that it kind of works with it. And when, when you have to say things like that, yeah, it's probably not going to do too well. So I mega greed out in this game. You know, I was already getting insanely lucky with, uh, with all of my, you know, triples, all of my rolls. So I had to go hella greedy. Um, I think at, at some point, you know, we're, we're looking for alpaca. I'm freezing the chocolate, really want um, alpaca. And I find it a bit late because I chocolate my lioness instead, which is kind of unfortunate. But at least we can get some stats in the shop, and um, that's still good, you know. Uh, having our hammer sharks be a bit bigger when I get them will be really nice. And one thing that I think I regret a little bit about this game is I think I should have sold my moth instead of my penguin. Yeah, I sell the level 3 penguin when I have all of this. You know, it just it just felt right. I was like, I got the moth. The moth is already big. I was like, that should do it, you know? So we finally see our first hammer shark here, and we're going to need it, yeah. We have to, unfortunately, get rid of the lioness that we invested into and um, sell it out. Get our first level 2 hammer shark. So I'm actually going to do it this way. A level 2 alpaca would be a bit better. However, we're, we're lacking a bit of board space, and... Um, we'll have to find it a bit more naturally so we at least get the the second one here hopefully we can get a level two now we finally have our first level two so our hammer shark plus our swan should be giving us nine extra gold next turn so really good to find more stuff look how big this swan is too maybe that was another reason i sold penguin i was like my guys my guys are so big you know it should be able to do it game was still pretty close for how big my guys were uh hedgehog with blowfish and lemon is nothing to play around with we see our second hammer shark and with this if we can get one last chocolate onto our alpaca thank god we have so much gold at our at our disposal so we can get the level two alpaca triple this hammer shark get our first level three hammer shark into another hammer shark so now we're about to be popping off and i actually forgot that alpaca had another charge on it because i leveled it up so unfortunately i missed that trigger and now I have to play things a little bit differently, but I think it'll be okay. We still have um, some lives left, and we are on eight wins turn 14, so we, we aren't looking too bad. You know, we'll at least get this Stego in. Uh, we'll do really well for us. Give give our Marth 14-14, Marth making it a 50-50. Super good stuff here. Um, and now, at the start of our next turn, we'll get nine plus three gold. So now we'll have 22 gold at our disposal we actually lose, which is pretty crazy. So we get another turn to play around with. That's exactly what I wanted to do, actually. So I think either way I was going to throw to get an extra round. And look at that. Already the next hammer shark on the board. And double chocolate. We could have hit the alpaca with it, but I think the nine extra gold that you put into alpaca isn't really worth the one extra chocolate that you get for playing. So... Get the other level 3 Hammer Shark. That is now 18 gold from Hammer Shark and the 3 from Swan. So we will start the turn with, what is that, an extra 22 gold? Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just uh, thinking here, what, what am I going to do with all of this gold, you know? Um, definitely need to freeze the Hammer Sharks. At first, I don't think I was going to go for another one. I was like, I already got two, man. Like, <laughs> do I really need another one? And, you know... For, for shits and giggles, I thought it'd be really funny uh, to try to go for a third level 3 Hammer Shark. So we would have a full team of level 3s too. Look how strong our guys are. Um, we at least clinch it out just barely. I would have liked to tie, actually. I think that would have been preferable. 30 gold, though. We start it with 30 gold. Wait, actually, how did we only gain 20 there? 9, 18, 3? So, yeah, wait. I thought they give you 9 a piece isn't that right and then it would be 18 and then plus three from swan would be 21 so i should start with 31 gold did i miss something there i don't know i'm not sure um but look at this all three hammer sharks this board is absolutely beautiful i would have loved to tie another time to see all that gold go up but you know when you're strong you're strong 
So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, because uh, I sure did. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you did. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.